Now, some people have said Beethoven's metronome was broken. What would you say to that? Then, if that's true, then Beethoven was an idiot. I mean, how can you, how can you not see your entire career? I mean, the years that he used the metronome, that when you put the thing thing on sixty, that it's not giving the seconds. And secondly, his entire entourage never told him. In, in, in fact, actually used the metronome like him because metronome marks given by Czerny or Marshallis or other people on Beethoven's work are exactly in line with what Beethoven gave. So they have continued the mistake. You see, that would be a conspiracy of the first order. <laughs> like four generations of people say, we know that Beethoven's metronome was broken, but we are going to use it like him because we don't want to offend the holy man. I mean, I'm ridiculizing a little bit. That's simply not possible. He got the damn thing from Melzo, one of the greatest mechanical invent, uh, engineers history knew. So Melzo would give Beethoven a broken metronome. That's like, I'm clapping in my hands. <laughs> and you have other theories. Like, did, did I have a metronome here, by the way. Some say like, he, oh, there, it's falling apart. He didn't read it like it's supposed to, read, to be read, like on the, on the upper, upper side of this uh, weight, but he, he used it here. And miraculously, then you have 10% slower tempi. So there is solved. I mean, and what was the quality of these metronomes? Were they, some people say, no, they're defective. That's the reason why. They slow down. It works or it doesn't work. So you have two weights. Huh? You have this weight and there is a weight here. Maybe is the craftsmanship good on, on, the, on those first metronomes? Oh. We checked this one. It's not restored. That's the ins inside of the met. Uh, yeah, can you see it? Oh, there. It's a bit dark. Camera. Yeah, it's a bit dark. It's yeah. dark. Yeah, it's dark. So you have a second weight here and a weight here, and that determines the speed. The 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 clockwork is just the the traction. So it works, and then it's perfect, or it doesn't work at all. We checked this with my digital app. There is a video on my channel even doing that. It's like hundred percent accurate. Okay. Wow, that's very interesting. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Also, this 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 idea it was a Spanish article. I mean, reading this from below, how are you going to do that? I mean, after two seconds, you see the thing is not made for that. But it's all because people. I mean, I'm sorry to talk about this so long, but it's like, for me, I'm wondering why is it so difficult to accept that the basic facts, like a metronome mark, is problematic in itself. We should be able and have the courage to define the problem. What is actually the problem? Do we have a problem? No. Then I invite you to on a stage and play. Or do we have a problem? And what's then the solution? And the solution will not lie in these exceptions, like the metronome was broken, or Beethoven didn't hear. Then Chopin's metronome was broken. Schumann's metronome was broken. Uh, Liszt's metronome was broken. And, and hundreds of composers' metronome. I mean, we should face it. We have a problem with those metronome marks. That's right. the thing, and we have to solve it. If we care about the intention of the composer, that's an important um, entrance as well. Because you don't have to play like that. Huh? You don't have to. 